Luna Moth Mystic here with some crystal shapes. But first, I'd like to welcome you to this video. It's part of a series I'll be doing um, about different crystals and other interesting things. So let's start with the palm stone here. This is a palm stone and it's actually made of lepidite. And you can hold it in your hand, see how it fits right into my hand. And you kind of can rub it and hold it and squeeze it. And it's really good for worry, anxiety, and you can keep it right in your pocket anytime you need it. This is actually the one that I use when I'm stressed or nervous. So it's a really super helpful stone. Um, a little bit about lepidite. It's a very calming stone, helps with anxiety. Um, I'll be doing another video about it specifically for you to see, but that's a palm stone. Next, I wanna show you this wand. And this is actually selenite. And for a wand, you can send energy in a specific direction. So you can, really helps with when you're casting spell work that's directional. You can, you know, point at something or a certain direction or a certain stone. And it's also, you know, kind of fun to have a little wand. So that's selenite. And you can tell this one is really small and I think it's really cute. So they come in all different sizes, all different shapes. Ones that are rounded, this one's not rounded, can also be used for massage and Reiki. Some people do that. Next, I wanna talk about this free form right here. This free form is a Marlambo agate. And as you can see, it has a lot of interesting patterns and stuff in it. Um, it's from Madagascar, which I think is interesting. Uh, Freeform just means that they can stand on their own. And usually they have a shape similar to this, like rounded like this. They really can amplify the beauty of the stone because they're often polished and people make them very ornamental kind of centerpieces. Um, oops. So, and Marlambo agate is good for kind of building from the ground up because you can see this is kind of like dirt in there. And so you're starting with dirt and you're building your way up. So that is a free form. Next, we have an egg. This is a green onyx egg. Um, and eggs are really good for fertility, um, new starts, renewal. They can also be used as hand palm stones if they're small enough. This one's a little bit big for me to use a palm stone, but you know, someone with bigger hands might appreciate that. And this green onyx is actually banded green onyx. So you can see there's calcite in it and the onyx is the darker green and the lighter green is less concentrated onyx. I'll do another video about that as well. But that's the egg. So next is a geode and this is an agate. And one thing you can see about geodes is that kind of hard, I don't know if it'll focus, but um, they have crystals inside, but rock on the outside. Usually they're cut in half, so you can see, and it's, you can think of it almost as a little cave, a little crystal cave. And they're really good to hold, and they amplify energy, depending on the stone. So next is this flame. Now this flame is really heavy. Flame refers to the cut of the shape. So this one's cut, you can see kind of like a flame coming up. Sometimes they're really perfectly swirled. Sometimes they have cuts like this where it's kind of like, not super random, but you know, they were just cutting it. And they're good for purifying. Um, if you think of spirit, like fire and how that's kind of purifying and they kind of feel they're a little bit organic feeling too and they make really good centerpieces because they're so interesting and this is rose quartz and rose quartz is kind of a love stone but not always romantic love it can also be friendship love or self-love 
It's a very helpful stone. Next, we've got this lovely heart. And this is a flower agate. And hearts, if you can imagine, are good for love, the heart chakra, they're good for healing. Um, flower agates specifically offer emotional support, healing, um, growth, passion, kind of, you can see growth from these, these blooms inside that look like flowers, and that's kind of what can bloom in you. So that's a heart. And they can also be used as palm stones. And they come in different sizes. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're really big. But that's a heart. Next, we've got a point. Points are probably my favorite shape. Um, this is a fluorite. Let me see if I can get the colors. You can see purple down here, some blues, some green there at the top. This is a fluorite point. Points are good for focus. They focus out the top. Um, they're generators. They can amplify energy. And they're really perfect for crystal grids, which I'll be doing another video about. But they make a nice decoration too. I think all these stones are really good decoration if you kind of want to show that you're enthusiastic about stones, even if you don't believe in them, there's still something that's nice to have around, trust me. Um, let's see, what's next? Uh, let's do the pyramid. This is a green onyx pyramid. So green onyx, the same as the egg, banded green onyx with calcite in it. And um, pyramids are really good for long-term energy work. They're really good anchors. They can also work in grids as well. Um, a lot of people use, I believe they use them in Reiki. Usually they have stones coming off of them and they use that as cleansers and healers and such. But pyramids, long-term energy work, they have that strength below them. The energy comes out the top, a lot like a point, but the bottom is just so much stronger because it's so much wider. So a sphere, this is a black onyx sphere. So you can see the, how light reflects on it so perfectly. It's got a little stand. Spheres are good for scrying, um, which is a process where you kind of look deeply into something with the idea that you're going to get a message or communicate. Um, it's good for meditation a sphere lets out energy in all different directions. Some people can say they're windows through time, which I know sounds a little funny, but that's just how it is. But black onyx also um, absorbs negative energy and it prevents draining of energy. So that's a good stone to have around in any shape. And of course, like any small stone, you can use it as a palm stone. Next is this cluster right here. This is an amethyst cluster. Um, clusters are very natural. As you can see, this is like where they pulled it off the wall. This is the back and they just kind of cut it off the wall and here it is. They can represent um, natural unity because it's a lot of points that are pointing in all different directions working together. And so harmony and cleansing, a lot of times people believe that clusters offer those kind of benefits. And amethyst is a really ancient stone, has a lot of different meanings for a lot of different people, but it's a protector, it's a shield, it amplifies psychic ability, those kinds of things. It does a lot of stuff. It's a really helpful stone and the favorite of a lot of people. Next, we have this abundance stone. And this is called an abundance stone because it has one large point that's coming up and at the bottom, it's got lots of small clusters. So it's kind of more about the shape and this is a smoky, a smoky quartz. And 
Let's see. This uses energy around it to clear physical pain, um, physical ailments. It's good for withdrawing negative energy. You probably wouldn't want to hold it like a palm stone, but there's other shapes of smoky quartz that are perfect for palm stones if you're trying to relieve negativity and such. But this shape specifically is often um, considered associated with wealth and prosperity. And that's why it's called an abundance stone. Okay, so now I wanna talk a little bit about raw stones versus tumbled stones. So first we have this raw emerald. As you can see, it's very bumpy. You know, it's kind of gritty. If you have it in your hand, you can get little specks of the stone in your hand. This is what you'd find, you know, if you're going out to a playground that's gravel, you'd find raw gravel stones. This one I find really pretty. I think it's, I think it's a nice example of a raw stone and it's pretty big too. But some people consider raw stones more potent, um, especially because they can kind of rub off on you and you can hold them really tightly. Um, but tum raw just means it's never been polished it's never been tumbled. It's just cut the way that it grew naturally. But a tumbled stone, like this, this is malachite. Um, it's, it's polished in a rock tumbler, usually. They put sand in it and a special kind of sand, and they spin it around until the stone is kind of polished down and concentrated into this little guy. And they can be all different sizes too, but the nice thing about some polished tumbled stones is they're easy to carry around, they're easy to use on grids, they're very versatile, and they're usually very pretty. The polishing really pulls out the colors and the different features of the stone that you wouldn't see otherwise. Like the emerald would probably look really different if it were um, tumbled versus raw. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe learned something about crystal shapes. I'll be do, doing more videos in the future, so keep an eye out for that, and I hope you have a great day.